Hello everyone. Now that our water turbine project is completed and everything's up and running, I wanted to take a few minutes with you today and um, show you how everything's performing and some of the electrical power production results. Um, I also like to say thank you to everybody that's um, come along for the journey and watched all the episodes and given your useful thoughts and opinions and ideas. I really appreciate those and look forward to another project in the future. Thanks for watching. All right, well, you can see we have ample water flow this morning. Clear some leaves off, debris. Eventually, in enough flow, it should wash the debris off, but the box still collects everything it needs around the turbine. Well, you're able to see the angle of the box now, so water level basically through there. Plenty of water to run the turbine. I've installed the other shutoff valve that runs for the pipe that runs to the barrel. And of course, if we need to drain the sediment, we can open the one just below that cascading waterfall. All right, well, a while back I decided to cut this vent pipe. As you can see, the a little bit of overflow is spraying out. Um, obviously, we have more than we need at the collection box, but 
I was a little concerned with the integrity of this lid, so I decided to vent out some of the pressure of the first, um, I imagine it's about 10 to 12 foot of drop to the barrel, which is actually surprising how much pressure it has on it. Obviously you can see the discharge there, and you can see why I did it. It actually inflates and uh, expands that top lid. So I really didn't want it to fail, but ultimately I may have to replace that with maybe metal, I'm not sure. It definitely is swelling the lid, so. Always something to work on and improve. But other than the lid, you know, the barrel is working really well. As you probably remember from the uh, previous videos, there's a baffle in the center, which should direct a lot of the sediment to drop out before it's able to pass out of the outlet of the barrel. And then you can see the drain, the end of the drain is down there. And I have opened that up after water's probably ran through the barrel for mm, several weeks, maybe a month, and very little sediment in the bottom of this barrel. So the collection box is, is doing a fair job. I'd almost like to put a gauge threaded into that um, vent pipe spraying the water out just to see what the pressure is just in the first 10-12 foot of drop from the collection box to this barrel. It's probably surprising how much it is. Down at the turbine, just the pressure created from the barrel down and a little bit. It's still remaining from the pressure created from the barrel to the collection box. <clears throat> We're reading almost 70 PSI at the turbine. So we could get a little more pressure, obviously, if we didn't have an open vent line here, but I'm definitely worried about the uh, integrity of that lid. So maybe we'll make some improvements here. turbine. As you can probably hear, it's it's really quiet. Um, the box helps a little with that, but well, this is a good temporary setup until a actual building is built. So I've got it dialed down pretty pretty low with the rheostat. Um, it's producing about right around 5 amps on the 24 volt circuit and when I switch it over to the 12 volt bank on a different controller this is about double that about 10 amps um, you can see all the discharge water goes down the hill in the pipe so no erosion just empties right back into the stream and we're running about 67 psi I think all in all pretty
pretty good results. Just show you guys real quick how this rheostat varies the speed and bolt amperage. So if you load it down, it'll the amps will increase. These are the two charge controllers I've just got installed for the hydro and uh, they feed each of the two battery banks 24 volt and then 12 volt as you can see on the screens. Um, right now this one's producing about four point eight amps on 24 volt it's a little lower I didn't get the rheostat set exactly correct but it's kinda nice can put in these disconnect switches so I can flip it back over to the one position and it'll start feeding the uh, 12 volt bank obviously it double the amount of amps on that bank Just again, I want to thank everyone for coming along on the journey of this project, and uh, I look forward to the next one. Thanks again for watching.